bar and column charts display groups of data as rectangular bars with their lengths proportional to the values they represent. These are great for showing comparisons between different groups or even trends over time. This video will highlight the workflow for designing a bar or column chart in Izenda. Like any Izenda visualization, the user has access to the data sources selected for the report on the left side of the screen. There are five distinct boxes in the configuration area for this chart type. Title, Description, Values, Labels, and Separators. Labels act as the x-axis and are the groups of data in which our values will be categorized. For example, to see the total amount of a value grouped by different states, we can add our state field from our data to the label section. By default, this value will be set as a group when making customizations in the field properties panel. Values is our y-axis and is where we can place the metric we want to measure. This is the quantitative data that a calculation is being performed on. On the field properties panel, the function dropdown shows the active calculation on that field. Changing this would change the size of the bars in the visualization. The separator section allows for the data to be split into subcategories in the already categorized labels. For instance, adding a date field here will show a different bar for each year for each one of our labels. The bars can either be side by side or stacked through this option here. With the sample use case we've laid out for this video tutorial, this is what our final product would look like as a column chart. For more tutorials on Izenda functionality and additional information on the platform, please watch our additional videos or visit our website to learn more.